Hi, friends. Oh, happy, happy Sunday. Um, I'm so I've been looking forward to this conversation all day. So welcome. Welcome. I'm Daniela. I'm here with my dear friend and colleague Jakob. And we're here to tell you about such a brilliant course that's coming up that starts in a week. And okay. it's vocal sound healing level one with Jakob. Over to you, Jakob. Hi, Daniela. So good to be with you. Always lovely to chat with you. And I'm I'm over the moon excited about this one, uh, this this level one vocal sound healing certification course. It's, um, you know, I think it's, it's good to say that uh, vocal sound healing has been with me for for a good part of my life. And um, and it actually started with one question by a friend who asked me when I was 18 years old, who asked me, why does your voice sound like you have no heart he, he asked me this question and it was very hurtful at the time um, but i was not angry at him i remember that i was more intrigued with actually the answer to the question whether there was truth in it or not and as it turned out there was truth in it i had cut myself off from my heart and you could hear this in my voice mm. and so this set me on a journey of discovering how much of our beingness, of, of how much truth is in our voice every day, when we speak, when we make sound, when we sing, when we when we use our voice. And so one thing led to another, and it really um, became very, very um, interesting when, uh, when my wife, my late wife, lost her speech in the hospital uh, when she got a brain tumor. And, uh, and, and so she was only be able to use sound anymore instead of uh, instead of speaking and this is really when when i deeply understood what a phenomenal power we all have with our voices um, and most people are not conscious about it and most people they are actually afraid to use their voice because of the idea of singing mm. and and i i cannot stress this enough how different singing is to making sound like singing has everything to do with performing with being on a stage with the talent shows with music with success with with, with being judged and so so many people come to me and say i you know i'm tone deaf i can't sing but then when you continue speaking with them they actually do enjoy it secretly when nobody can hear them and so really vocal sound healing is about using your voice as an instrument of healing. So what does that mean? It means that even a simple sound as a sigh, ah, this is healing. Okay, it's small, but there is an energetic shift that happens when you do this. Ah, there is a release. There's all, all kinds of things on the body level that happen. There's a shift in the energy field. So when you accentuate that, and instead of just, ha, ah, you actually... Uh, you're going to make a sound, an ohm sound, whatever sound, toning. You, you have a very efficient way to, to change and shift your energy vibration. Um, and this is so cool. And it's really something everyone can do. It doesn't require any instruments, any knowledge of music, any special skills or, or special ears or, or hearing. Um, so it's actually very simple. And this is why... It, it is possible in 12 weeks only, 12 classes to teach people this art of focal sound healing, not just for themselves, but to hold space for others to do the same as well. I, um, I've had the great joy of collaborating with you and co-teaching with you now for quite some time. And I, it never ceases to thrill me and to blow my mind at how surprised students are that come into your curriculum because your curriculum has woven through many of our our yoga teacher trainings and our healing qigong training so it's part of a larger it it until now it has been part of a larger curriculum here and and the students that come to our trainings they have no like and trust with all of us so they're like okay vocal sound healing i'll i'll i'll, I'll check it out and time and time again students that participate in your curriculum are stunned and deeply moved at the potency and the depth of this work through the most simple exercises. 
um, in my in my view and my experience, vocal sound healing is one of the premier, one of the most effective modalities that I know to date that helps to uh, bring loving attention to the emotional body. Many of you here um, watching this have the awareness and the, and the understanding of the, the human being as uh, comprising of six layers or, or of multiple layers. There are many models. And there's the mental body, the physical body, the emotional body and the awareness body or the bliss body. Um, and it's the emotional body in particular that then touches the other layers that is so beautifully attended to and not in a way where you have to go feel it to heal it. It's a, it's a different, it's a very unique attending to. So, so what I love about this training, this 12 week training that um, will run on Sunday afternoons from 2.30 to 4 p.m. Eastern time is that first and foremost, it's a gift for you, the participant. It's, a, it's really a gift for you. And then you're trained to share this brilliant process, the foundational process in such a wide variety of settings. Um, we've had students that have taken this vocal uh, sound healing level one previously. They have been therapists, they've been counselors, they've been life coaches, We've had massage therapists, Reiki workers, Kundalini yoga teachers, um, uh, Qigong teachers, Hatha Vinyasa yoga teachers, uh, school educators, that sometimes um, this modality is what gives their students a breakthrough in their ability to, to connect with emotion and without then having to be in the situation of, I now need to tell the story of my emotion. It's, it's so remarkable, Jakob. Um, we are so grateful that we get to, to work with you. Oh, well, and uh, hearing you speak, Daniela, about the different bodies, and, and uh, that, that uh, reminds me to, to, to say to everyone also that I'm so grateful that you will be co-teaching with me for this vocal, uh, vocal sound healing certification and bringing your insights and take uh, and view on the, on the matter as well, which is, which is such a an enriching, uh, you know, to have your presence uh, at any course. So I'm, I'm very grateful for that. And then- The best hour and a half happening on the planet on, on those 12 <laughs> Sundays, friends. I'm not kidding. It's like the best party you want to be at for your soul. <laughs> <laughs> and then to touch on on who 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 might benefit from this. Absolutely. You, you named a few, few examples, Kundalini yoga teachers, uh, Reiki masters, uh, Qigong teachers, um, even therapists, coaches that want to want to want to bring in the the sound making. You know, when you work with a client and you just want to um, bring some ease and and relaxation to the nervous system, this is this is great. Many many people that I've worked with um, have come from the yoga world and are, are are very active as yoga teachers, Kundalini teachers, and um, and they, for instance, they love mantra singing. That's something that is very very. Uh, well practiced and well known in the in the Kundalini yoga tradition, and I love mantras as well. And so a, a huge part of the training will be about mantras, and uh, and and also I think a very interesting addition, a very interesting addition to to the way that mantra has been given to the West by the beautiful Indian tradition that that that, um, that I'm so grateful for. That, well, whole whole of yoga, so including the mantra aspect. And then, and then, as a musician, I'm I'm so happy and grateful that that I'm that I'm to receive melodies and 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 chords and 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 words uh, to create contemporary mantras, which uh, which are really so open and inviting to any anyone that wants to just uh, be with peace, be with love, be with uh, presence, and and sing themselves literally into those vibrations. Um, so so that's a, that's a part of the course as well. I love how the mantra aspect of the vocal sound healing, there's two parts to it, right? There's the, you'll learn as a, as a graduate of this, of this course, you'll learn how to guide a one-on-one -on -one, in a one-on-one -on -one setting, how to guide someone through the foundational vocal sound healing practices. And so you'll have ample opportunity to practice it in the course, outside of the course, so that 
you really feel confident and that you, you connect to your own conviction of the efficacy of this modality. The second part of the mantra is I love how but this course both honors prescriptive mantras that, that, that graduates already know and love. Like we were saying earlier, nothing beats a good old Om Namah Shivaya. Like you and I both love that mantra. Like, <laughs> and not everybody does though. So it's, I'm, I, when I share that, it's in very select settings. And I have relative certainty that already the students likely would enjoy that. You all, you teach mantra in this course, um, how to share mantra in a way that's so practical so relatable and so universal that no one has the experience of is this is this am i is would my faith and tradition not be okay with my participating in this practice or there being any reason for there being any dissonance um it's connecting it's beautiful it's heart-centered um absolutely yeah. and and just little clarification not only for one-on-one -on -one settings but also the, the sound making also in a group setting you learn the, the the foundational practice also to hold a space for for a group uh, so both one-on-one -on -one and group settings yeah 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 perfect Duh. as soon as i said it i was like wait no 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 there's groups that are making sound too it's it's brilliant it's and and i also love one of these surprise outcomes for both the graduates of vocal sound healing level one and the students they should share this with is how much more comfortable people become with their voice in any in other settings that they feel but just by virtue of doing these practices in in the way that uh, the course invites you to practice how the ripples of that work spread outward in other settings where it's your your task to communicate maybe something truthful or uncomfortable um and yet the the confidence and the clarity that students have in communicating in other ways it really supports opening up any inhibitions in the throat center absolutely i've i i honestly believe that there is a big inhibition on society level on the throat center um on speaking our truth and uh, especially, you know, the universal aspect of sound, which is, you know, sound is crying. Sound is uh, is also when you're angry, giving expression to your anger, all that kind of things. Uh, with the vocal sound healing, as a student, you really learn a very healthy way to express. Uh, it's similar to nonviolent communication. It's like nonviolent expression. It's it's even without words. It's just neutral it's sound uh, like you're literally giving the vibration of sadness or grief or whatever or joy uh, bliss mm -hmm. just that pure vibration so in not naming it and not framing it but just letting the pure vibration the sound be be that what it is it's such a pure form and and a lot of people just fall in love with that and, and never let it go uh, so many students they they've just you know they've embraced sound and it's it's a lifelong thing it's not a phase once you really understand it it doesn't let you go it's it's so intrinsically part of of being human it's like it's like once you once you learn how to walk you don't let it go like it's it's part of being human is to walk um well part of being human is to make sound um so yeah that's uh unfortunately something because of our, how our society has evolved something we have to remind people of um to to do and then to remember that, okay actually this feels very natural this is this is what it is about to to be human and 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 i think also this this was part of the motivation to make this course as affordable as possible and also concise 12 weeks 12 times an hour and a half 249 us dollars 249 euro um you know to make a certification program whereby you get a certification to bring this work out into the world i think it's a, it's a good price point even you know especially for people that have invested already a lot in uh, certification programs in the past to become a, a luminous um, yoga teacher kundalini yoga teacher etc uh, i think it's a good addition yeah 
Yeah, I, I stand so behind it. It is honestly, friends, an incredible investment. Um, you know, I'm even picturing, I'm picturing middle school teachers. They have, uh, and educators, high school educators. You know, imagine yourself there. You're wanting to connect to, with a student or, you know, to get a little insight as to what's going on for them. And if they're like, mm -mm, not, not, they don't want to share on the mental body. Sometimes the simple question of, if you can make the sound right now, of this, of your experience, just what would that sound sound like? And if you're one-on-one -on -one and they have trust with you, that sound tells so much and it's a gateway. It really is a, it is a potent bridge to um, the world of getting clearer about what's going on for you. It's, it's potent for grief work. It's potent for um, and connecting with your, with joy. It's, it's potent for, um, I can share a personal example, very briefly, friends, how I, because things have been, as you know, quite, quite busy, you know, at, at Yoga Farm. And um, I, when I was doing vocal sound healing for myself, my own practice, when I would ask myself, okay, what is the sound of what I'm feeling right now? And for months, it was the same sound and it was the same tone. And I thought, and I even started, at first I was questioning, like, am I being rigid? Do I not want to make a different sound? And then one day, and I, I feel like definitely some emotion as I'm sharing this, one day I got the sound that I was making was of enormous fatigue. And I hadn't connected my mind with my body. My body had been trying to tell me something's not right. And I got, and I, and, and for a week, I wanted to stop doing the vocal sound healing. I'm like, I'm so sick of the same sound. I'm just not doing it. But then because I, I had that, that expression, I had that thought, it stayed with me. I was like, what if there's something there that the same tired, sound keeps coming out and it's what led me to then go get some blood work done which revealed I had an underlying issue I, I had severe anemia which is completely remedied I feel amazing iron is amazing but my point in sharing this is that it was the set it was the is the perpetual sound of <laughs> I was so sick of the fatigue sound <laughs> I'm like oh, well then maybe there's something to do here <laughs> because the sound wasn't releasing to, it wasn't changing it. It was just alerting me. It was alerting me to something going on in my body that I didn't have access to. And I'm slow sometimes with things like this. So it took a few months of the same sound. And did your sound then change once that you actually had that insight? Oh, yeah. Complete. Well, it changed once I got treatment that I needed. Yeah, it, yeah. It, like I, I needed something outside of sound, but the sound alerted me to something that I, I, I didn't know otherwise. I, you know, maybe someone else would have taken a few, taken months to figure it out, but I can be slow sometimes. Beautiful story. Oh yeah, I love that story. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it also has it has vocal sound healing has really uh, allowed for me to navigate some of the the most difficult chapters and yet in a way that felt so honoring it felt so honoring it didn't feel like oh here I have to go in and be with the <laughs> it just it'll it allowed a deep honoring so. same same here uh, because um some some of you might know this others don't and I touched on it a little bit I, I mentioned my late wife Upala and um, and so, you know, she passed away not so long ago. And uh, I use the practice now more than ever for myself. And um, I can honestly say that it is a very pure way to be with grief. Um, as, as I feel a wave of grief coming up, I, I know how to make sound for, for grief. And it's actually um, <laughs> strange to call it, <laughs> but it's almost a nice feeling in that moment because you can be with that grief in such a good healthy way and it feels like a relief it's a wave going passing through the tears are there 
I, I enjoy that, that that typical grief griefy sound um and i know it's good it's good to 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 let the wave pass so that's why I actually i almost like it when it comes although it's painful but you know it's a uh, it's just you know you need to experience that to understand the intricacies of what i mean here uh but it's very special yeah so it i allows, use them. and it allows it to move cleanly fully um, I remember Alan Watts talking about how our inability to be with the full wave of our emotions oftentimes is what really lends itself to like neuroses um, or like be obsessive, obsessively stuck in a rut. And in our culture, we are not taught how to feel our emotions. We think about why we're experiencing the emotion we're experiencing versus feeling it. And in this practice, it allows the honoring and releasing without, again, having to, without getting dragged down into it and held there. So there's, it takes away the fear of being with the emotional body. Yeah, absolutely. And before, we, because I know as we will already get into the course, if we continue this much we longer, will. we will start, class one <laughs> we will start right teaching. <laughs> <laughs> This is how we roll, uh, beautiful people, Daniela and I, it's, it's a flow. And if you like this flow, well, then we'll get started next Sunday on the yeah. 29th of, uh, of Jan. Um, so time zones are perfect for all Americans and all people in Europe. Um, so, uh, and there's already a bunch of people in Europe and America that have joined. So we have a really nice group together. This course is actually also part of a larger uh, training the Qigong teacher training, but for, you know, so people that are signing up for the Qigong teacher training, get the, the part of the vocal sound healing included in their training. But this is the first time that it's also being available as a separate course. Um, so uh, I yeah, hope we, uh, we, we couldn't resist. And this was really part of the vision, you know, Jakob and I both love the, the imagery of the, of dandelions in full bloom and the seeds spreading around the world. Friends, you are, you are those seeds. You are the ones that will share these practices in such practical, relatable, connecting ways that make such an enormous difference for, for your future friends and students and family members to come into a deeper friendliness within themselves. And that's because you will have tools that are practical and that they can really embody and, and, and utilize right away. So, um, so we thank each and every one of you, you know, for being here right now with us live, for enjoying this on replay. And we can't wait to see you uh, starting next Sunday. And you'll have the course indefinitely. So the, the, the materials and the, the training materials are yours, you know, beyond the, the replace. Training. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's, uh, and it really complements this, this vocal sound healing level one deeply complements anybody that has completed any uh, yoga teacher training with us, radiant warrior, Kundalini warrior, anybody that likes sharing mantra. And there'll be a special session at the end of the class about how to weave, how to integrate vocal sound healing with singing bowls and other instruments. So um, that's part of this also. Yeah, which is an uh, optional class. So that's not part of the requirement. So if you're not into instruments and you don't have instruments, that's absolutely no problem. So you will be able to get certified without that, that class as well. Yeah. And you don't need anything special to purchase for the course, no special materials, things, just you. Just, just you. you. <laughs> and so all the information will be on the post here we'll put the, the, the link to the landing page where you can read everything again and register if you feel uh, yes in yourself yeah i oh, be follow the yes if you feel a strong one okay no pressure and yes <laughs> thank you daniela thank you everyone for watching yeah thank you friends we love being with you have a beautiful evening okay bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.